Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an HP DeskJet printer that is not recognizing an ink cartridge. I'll be going over how to fix it in this full tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be going over five easy steps that will hopefully help you get your HP DeskJet printer to recognize the ink cartridge. Now this is specifically the HP DeskJet 2742E all-in-one printer, but you can use this method with pretty much any HP DeskJet printer that you are dealing with this problem with regards to. So let's get into the video. Number one, the first thing that you should try, and this is always your go-to it should always be your go-to for a technological device uh, is to unplug it and plug it back in so literally unplug it wait about 30 seconds plug it back in that's going to reset the printer maybe it's just experiencing a little bit of a software glitch or a hardware glitch and hopefully that clears it up so try that first the second thing that you can do is one step above that which is you're going to remove the ink cartridge, so you're going to get access to the ink cartridge and remove it, okay? So in this case, I can pull down this door. The ink cartridges are going to come to the middle over here. I would remove the ink cartridge or ink cartridges that are causing problems, if it's only one or both. I would remove it like that, okay? With it removed, you're then going to unplug the printer, leave it unplugged for 30 seconds, then plug it back in. Once it boots up and it's ready to go, then you're going to try and install the ink cartridge again and hope that it recognizes it, okay? So that what that does is that's one step above the first thing. That resets it without the ink cartridge in it. Maybe that will solve the glitch or error or problem, malfunction, whatever you want to call it that you are experiencing, okay? Um, the third thing, this is a long shot, but I've heard that it has worked a few times. Um, make sure that it's plugged directly into an outlet. Try it plugged directly into an outlet. Now, I know that we use these in office spaces and, and homes, and, and it's very common in homes to have like a power bar or a surge protector or an extension cord. Very common, you know, you can't have an outlet every single place that you want one, um, and those places change. So even if you designed your house with an outlet wherever you need one, you might need one in a different spot a few years later. So it's normal to plug these things into, you know, surge protectors, power bars, extension cords, and so forth, but on occasion, that can cause a glitch or a problem that can cause this. So I've heard of a few times where that is so this problem so what I do recommend is try to plug it directly into an outlet and get it to recognize the ink cartridge and if it works then maybe you can unplug it and then plug it back into your surge protector power bar or extension cord whatever it was plugged into previously just give it a shot you know worst case scenarios it's it doesn't work but at least you you can say you've tried and it has worked with uh with a handful of times that I've read about online okay uh through doing research for this video I haven't personally experienced that specific problem and that specific solution, but from what I've read, it has worked a few times, okay? So that was number three, plug it into an outlet directly and try again. Number four, is it the right ink cartridge? I know that you're probably thinking, yes, it is the right ink cartridge, Mike, of course it is. Mike is telling you, I'm Mike, by the way, Mike is telling you, make absolutely sure. I myself am a printer Professional, I've had many different printers, I've used so many different ones, reviewed them, bought them, tested them out, you know, like helped friends out with them, family members out with them, and still to this day, I buy the wrong ink cartridges from time to time. So really make sure that it's the right ink cartridge. Luckily for you, if you look near the ink cartridges, you're probably gonna be able to see the uh, the the numbers over here uh, of the ink cartridge type. So just, just make sure, do me a favor and just make sure that it's the right ink cartridge. Last but not least is number five, which is to try to clean and align the printer heads. And that's a whole other video. You know, if your printer's old and you have like a lot of gunk built up, built up on the printer heads, then what might happen is, you know, it's going to have trouble recognizing the ink cartridge. And maybe on the contact points, you might have some gunk built up on that. So you're going to clean those. And that's a whole other video. So let me just show you what I'm talking about, though. So the ink cartridges, you know, they essentially... They, they, they make electronic contact for communication with certain contact points and then there's a spot where they actually release the ink. So I'm going to pull this one out just to show you. These little gold contact points make contact with those gold contact points over there, okay? So that's, you want to make sure those are clean for communication. And then as you can see, the ink actually comes out. So you have to make sure that where the ink actually comes out, it actually, um, you know, will, will distribute it properly uh, in there and it's clean. Um, if you're in doubt, I mean, you can, like it's really, there's, you can do no harm in 
cleaning your printer heads as long as you do it properly. And you should be doing it regularly as part of maintenance anyways. So give it a shot, see if it works. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.